Hey, what's up guys? This is 139, and this is a quick little review for the uh, NES launch title, Excite Bike. Um, it, this, this is a, uh, I don't really know if I would say iconic game, but it's something that, you know, I played before um, in a game store, a local game store. Um, I've seen the cover. I, I always recognize these. Um, I think they're called... Uh, what are they called? I'm not sure, but all the launch titles basically had the same design. Um, uh, so I definitely recognize recognize it, and I've played uh, one of the sequels to this game called Excite Truck for the Wii, which is really fun. Um, so I decided, uh, well actually I got this as a gift, so decided to give it a shot and try it out. Um, and it's actually not bad. Um, it's, you know, obviously for the Nintendo Entertainment System, which debuted in 1985 in the United States. Uh, known as the Famicom in Japan. Came out a little earlier there, but here it was 1985. Um, so that's, you know, 35 years ago. you got to take that into account. Um, obviously, if this came out today, it wouldn't be the best game ever, but it came out 35 years ago. Um, and it's fun for what it is. It's a quick little, uh, you know, I probably played it for an hour and got basically what I, you know, what I needed out of it. And, you know, from time to time, I'll probably plug it in, just play it a little mindlessly. Or maybe when I have friends over, I'll just have that on. Sometimes I have a game, a room with a bunch of games in there. Maybe if somebody gets knocked out in Smash Bros, they want to play this a little bit. You know, it's one of those type of games. Um, at least in this, in this uh, era, it's, I'm sure it was, you know, kids gathering around the tv at one point to play excite bike but nowadays there's experiences that are much more vast and uh, detailed than this but sometimes you got to go back to the uh you know the classics and just ground yourself a bit and this game's pretty fun um five different tracks to choose from uh there's three different modes one mode is basically just a a time a time mode you're trying to beat a certain time on each track uh and then there's basically the same actual mode but this time they have cpu riders gunking up the whole track it's not really like you're trying to get first place you're still trying to just beat that same time but it's now including all these other cpu drivers in your way and uh you can fall off your bike which obviously causes you uh, or costs you time um so bumping into a cpu rider uh hitting their back wheel knocks you off your bike and you have to smash a to for your rider to run back on his bike and if a cpu rider hits the back of your bike they fly off so they're basically obstacles and i think it's more fun with them um and can actually get pretty hectic and the game runs very well uh you know not recently but months ago i played kirby's adventure and um i had noticed when there was a bunch of things on the screen it was just you know frames were very gunked up but not with this game. It, it runs pretty flawlessly, uh, f you know, for a launch title with a lot of shit going on. It, if you want to get to, like, level 5 with other bikes, you know, it's a, it, it, there can be a lot going on. Um, so those two little modes are fun. Five tracks for each one. Um, you play as the red bike. You don't really get a, a say what color your bike is or anything like that. Um, and you're just racing for times, really. Uh, I was able to beat the first three, and then the fourth one i was having a little trouble i got to like i think i had a uh, third place in the fourth and then in the, the fifth race i got like ninth so they do get a little tougher as the um as the tracks you know you get to track four or five because they add uh way more hills and and things like that and it's pretty intricate actually you have to uh kind of similar to i played a lot of ios games back in the day where it was like bmx bikes going through tracks and you had to i remember i had to tilt my i uh what was it? i uh ipod touch so that the bike would you know land well and your guy wouldn't fly off or whatever or your bike wouldn't i forget what happened maybe your bike snapped i don't remember exactly but it's similar to that where you use the d-pad obviously and you have to line up your bike for the landing and if you don't your guy will fly off and you're gonna have to mash a wasting time um so it's fun like that. There's also uh, just a you know just a regular throttle, and then I don't know what you what it's called, maybe turbo. I don't know, but if you press B, uh, he actually goes much faster than if you're just pressing A. The only difference is your um, the heat of your bike, the temperature of your bike raises, and if it goes all the way, if the red bar goes all the way up to red, you know, fully red, then your bike, uh, you know. Um, overheats and you're stuck there for a couple seconds not being able to move at all uh so you really have to 
gauge how long you can use the turbo and then if you have to slow up you have to you know get off the turbo and you're going slower than other bikes who could potentially be using the turbo or you're just losing precious time um however there are little arrows on the maps um or the tracks that at first i didn't know what they were i thought they were you know little you know anytime you see in a racing game you see little arrows you think it's like a speed boost but in this game it, it actually just wipes out most of your uh, temperature gauge. So if it's really high and you run over one of them, it goes back to cool. So you can, you, you know, as you're going through the track, if you keep hitting those arrows, you should be able to continue to use the turbo or overdrive, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then the third mode is a uh, design your own map mode, which is pretty cool. Um, it's cool that they had something like that even this, you know, this long ago. Unfortunately, for some reason, you can't save your map in the States. Uh, you can in, in Japan. Um, I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. Uh, you can save your maps, your, your designed maps in Japan, but you can't save them here. And there's actually a save and load feature, but they don't do anything. Um, I made a track just to test it out, um, and I saved it, and it wasn't saving. It just stuck on the saving screen, and then I had to reset the, the console. Uh, they tried to load is the same thing and then I looked it up I'm like why isn't why can't I save my track do I have to replace you know is there like a battery in here I have to replace and it just says there's you know they just didn't take them out and uh, they had left it up it was something I forget how they worded it but they said um, for like potential future use or something like that so I don't know how in the world they would you know it's like not like they could release an update to the NES or something but I'm not sure what they were trying to do with that but unfortunately you can't save your maps obviously you know you can you can make the map and then play it right there as long as the console's still on. But if you reset the console, you have to, uh, or even if I'm not even sure you, even if you go to the main menu, you might have to redo the track. I'm not hundred percent sure on that one, but I know if you reset the console, obviously, as well as your scores, your, your times, you, it doesn't have a, a save file in here or, or a memory, um, a battery, uh, on was what I should say. There's no battery in here. So in this cartridge, so you're not going to save your time, so it's just going to be another one of those note documents you open up, like I do for Tetris and Asteroids, and you, you write down your score, um, and, uh, you know, it's really not the biggest deal in the world, but it would be nice if there was a, a save thing in there so you could know your times, but, yeah, guys, that's really um, all I have to say about Excite Bike. It's a fun little game. It's fun in, in short spurts nowadays, at least in my opinion, Um so if I had to give it a rating, I would probably give it a, I don't know, maybe like a 7. Pretty fun, you know? I, I Like I said, it's not my, one of my favorite games or anything, but I think it's a pretty good game. Um, you know, as I get more and more into these older games, I'll have a better gauge as to what's good and what sucks. But, you know, right now it's a little... Uh, you know, it's hard It's hard to judge a classic where so many people back in the day were saying that this game is the shit, and now you play it now and you're like... You know, not that it sucks, but it's like, if this came out now, this game would suck. You know what I mean? So it's hard to gauge. Uh, but I, I can definitely see this being fun, you know, years ago. And um, uh, maybe even, a you know, one of the first Nintendo racing games ever. Not that there's a whole crazy amount of them. Um, but, you know, it's something to be said. So, uh, Excite Bike for the NES. I uh, give it a 7, by the way. Look how nice this cartridge looks. That label or sticker is looking really good. Um, I don't think it's a, uh, a redo because there's some, you know, dents up on this top here. But anyway, uh, yeah. So seven out of ten for uh, Excite Bike. So thank you for watching.